Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Sharifon. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a specific word, and I'm giving out this word today because um, this person, you got to a point where you feel so overwhelmed. I believe that the Holy Ghost is laying this word in my heart because God is showing you mercy. God is showing you mercy. You see, God gave you a prophetic word. God gave you a plan about something he wants to accomplish in your life. But the challenge is that you have bypassed God and you're trying to figure this out on your own. That's where the problem is. And you don't see the problem. You don't see that this is a problem. You know, we have been taught so much about walking by faith that we miss the whole idea of what walking by faith is. We got to a point where we think that walking by faith just means to take action. You know, we think that walking by faith simply means taking action, but that's not the goal of it. That's not that's not the that's not the underlying truth about walking by faith. Walking by faith simply means taking spirit-led actions, and that is actually what God is looking at. That's actually what God is looking for. When you take spirit-led actions. Not just actions. It has never just been about taking action. It has always been about taking spirit-led actions. Those actions that you feel from a conviction, from a place of your spirit. Not just moving because you have to move if you have faith. No. Where are you moving to? Which direction are you moving to? What stirred you to move? Mm. That the Bible says that once in a certain season, the angel of the Lord will stir the waters and whoever stepped in after the stirring, the testimony is in your response to the stirring. Not just that you stepped into the water, but that you stepped in after the water was stirred. Many of us have taken actions. Waited for testimonies from those actions. Waited for rewards from those actions. But they were never actions birthed by faith. They were never actions from the Spirit. Never actions converted by conviction from the Spirit. They were just actions because we felt like we should not just see them. We felt like, oh, faith is action. What am I doing? No, 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 no. It's not just about you going here and there. No. It's about you going here and there because you felt the Spirit leading you there. Oh, God comes to Elijah and says, Arise and go to Zarephath. I've commanded a widow there to feed you. That is faith. The moment Elijah wakes, uh, stands up and begins to move to Zarephath, that is a response of faith. It means he has believed. The moment Elijah stands up and begins to walk by faith, and begins to walk in response to that word, despite his surrounding. That's an action of faith. It means Elijah, Elijah, sorry, has acted by faith. That is faith. So faith is not just action. Faith is not just another move. Faith is what you do in response to a word. You see, it might not be a prophetic voice from within, but it could be a scripture you read that spoke to you. I've seen many ladies say, go out there to just buy a wedding gown. I've seen many ladies who say, I'm believing God for marriage. Go out there and just buy a wedding gown. I've seen people who say, I'm believing God for a job. Go out there and just, you know, do this or do that. No, what led you is the question. You see, what you have been doing all along is been you trying to double cross God. You trying to figure it out by, on your own strength, by your own strength. But the Bible says it's not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. What you have been doing all along is been you trying to figure it out by your own strength. And that's why you are not seeing results. Come on. That's the reason why you're not seeing results. Because it is not the Lord leading you. You have to rest. Oh, the angel came to Mary and began to prophesy to Mary. He gave a lot of prophetic words. Oh, blessed Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. You're going to be pregnant. And Mary asked, how will these things be? 
because I have no man. The only way that Mary knows a woman can get pregnant is by having intercourse with a man. She says, uh, Angel, I know I, I've heard the word you spoken of, but how will it be because I don't have a man? And the angel said this, this, this. The angel gave her an outline of the plan. It means that was already figured out a long time ago, way before the angel was sent to Mary. Because angels are not all-knowing. So he would have gone back to God to ask that question. But the fact that he stood there to respond to Mary meant that he knew what was going to happen. And from everything the angel said, it shows clearly that God had the plan. Many of us have been delayed because we ignored God's plan and went ahead of God doing it our own way. You must repent there and surrender and tell him, Lord, your way and not mine. Make up your mind. If God says nothing, I'll wait. If God says move, I'll move. I'll keep moving in the same direction until I get the next instruction on what to do. You see, faith is not just, you know, trusting in God's ability. Faith is also submitting to God's will. God bless you and keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you. May God give you peace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.